Council Mayor Sam Nicardo to tell you that he has been representing our community from past six years and he has been doing a phenomenal job. Today we have gathered for a very sad cause because the gun shootings have killed around nine people at the VTS station. What's your take and overall reaction on this incident? Well, it's a horribly sad time for our community, but I feel very blessed to live in this community and to, be, to serve this community because you see how people come together in tough times here. It's like no other community in the country. In tough times, people step up, they volunteer, they give, they support the families. Uh, it's a beautiful thing to see and I just hope uh, that the rest of the country can feel the love and, and the unity that we're feeling here. Shown by so many. This is what we do as a labor movement and as a community. We show up, we donate, we pray. We have Senator Dave Cortesi right here with us at San Jose City Hall. This is a very sad occasion since the VTA employees have died due to a gun shooting. What's your take on the overall scenario? Uh, it's tragic. It's, it's nothing that we're used to in San Jose. Uh, thank God for that. Uh, but our hearts go out to the families. We just heard from several of the family members tonight at this vigil uh, here at City Hall, uh, and it's heartbreaking. Uh, I have trouble sleeping. I had trouble sleeping last night thinking about it. Imagine, imagine the family members and the heartbreak, and uh, we lost one of our Sikh brothers uh, from the district I represent. Uh, a one-year-old and a three-year-old child. Words can't, words can't even explain the heartbreak. So you know we need we need to make sure that people who are suffering from mental health issues, like the shooter in this case, that we catch those issues early, that we get those people into treatment, that we get their guns away from them before they can go in and hurt other people and themselves. And that's exactly what happened here. Uh, so we have to we have to work harder, uh, and we need a much more decent society than this. Vigils have also become very common today, but until the laws are amended and the people actually have their mentality changed, I don't think a major difference is going to occur, you know. It's just one step, it's just like a symbolic, just as the Santa Clara uh, County had lowered their flags to half staff to pay homage to the victims of the incident. Uh, similarly, a candlelight vigil is just another way to pay tribute, however, it doesn't actually do uh, any true benefit to the victims. Right. What would you say? So, uh, the candlelight vigils, prayers are to heal uh, temporarily, you know, that situation that's in place uh, because there's a lot of emotions going on. Uh, but the laws definitely need, like today, even we before the program started, uh, we met with the mayor and said, okay, candlelights is just not enough. That's not enough. We need to do more than that. And he assured us that uh, let's keep this uh, uh, conversation, continue this conversation so we can make a difference. And that same pressure, uh, you know, even if we have vigils, that voice that goes out from those vigils, what action needs to be taken, uh, that needs to be more seriously taken and gun laws changed. We have seen so many of these types of tragedy happen throughout the U.S. Uh, and uh, the country knows, the voters know, I, I bet you if he put something on the ballot at this time, it would pass uh, any type of gun law change uh, because all these emotions are there. So I, I, I think these vigils do offer more support 
for those bills so they could pass and make some changes so these types of incidents don't happen in the future. God, would you pour peace and grace into their lives? Would you surround them with the kind of support that will lift them up and carry them when they feel like they can't take another step? And then, oh God, we, we pray also for those first responders who have images in their minds tonight that they cannot lose. It will follow them all the days of their life. Would you give them peace? And grace, I fears relieved. How precious did the grace appear. My best friend has been too soon, and I'm wishing I could give him one last hug and tell him how much I love you. I love you always. Well, please stick together. Please figure out a way how we can prevent this from happening going forward. Stay united so nobody dares try to put us in a harm's way. Go support, that's what my brother would do. That's what his lion's heart would tell right now. He would say, get together, show support in every areas, wherever you work, that nobody, if somebody comes through, he sees all of you together. Nobody would dare try to hurt any, any one of you. And that's what he would tell everybody, and that's what I'm gonna make my rest of my life's mission. Even if I can be a little drop of my, how my brother used to be, I'm gonna dedicate to help others in any way I can. I'm trying to, To all the night families, I share the grief that you guys have. I understand your pain. Please reach out to each other. Please take counseling. Don't leave each other. I know, especially community I come from, a lot of communities, we look down upon counseling, getting help. But please, don't let it be. Don't let your loved ones be alone during this time. Please reach out. If you don't have family members, reach out. We'll be there to help. If I can't personally come, we'll organize. So reach out to each other, stay together, stay strong. And thank you. Thank you, everybody. I got off the phone a couple hours ago with Chris Larson, who grew up here in San Jose, and he and his Lena, wife, Lena, contributed $100,000 to help our families who are grieving. Thank you, Chris. Mr. Sukhdev Beniwal is from San Jose Gurdwara and he has been giving his selfless services for many many years now. He is a true representative of the Sikh community and today as you know one of the Sikhs has also um, gone with the innocent victims who were um, at the shooting site. What's your take on the gun laws in the city? Uh, not only the city but uh, the gun laws throughout the country. Uh, needs to be re-looked at. There needs to be a gun control, of course. Uh, a thoroughly background check needs to be done. Semi-automatic guns need to be taken out. Uh, that's not needed. We have protection from the military. We have protection from the police. 
who can use those guns. But the, if there are guns, it should be very controlled with the license given, uh, with, the, with thoroughly background checks and all that mental status of the person uh, that needs to be checked. So I definitely, as we saw on the stage today, uh, there was big talk about gun control, uh, new gun laws need to be put into place, so definitely there needs to be changes. So how about amending the gun laws, because I think it's very hard to understand who becomes mentally sick at what point in their life. Yes, uh, I've been a strong advocate for gun control. I think the time to talk about those policies will be starting next week. We'll be uh, introducing several measures that I've been working on now for more than a year. Uh, but for now, the time is to focus on the families and help and support them in, in, in their path on healing. As the days pass, we must focus our attention on what was broken to make sure things are stronger than before. Well, we have some of the strictest gun laws in, here in California, anywhere in the United States, and I don't know how much more we can add on to those gun laws, but I do know that 50% of our jail population have diagnosed mental health issues. I know that the perpetrator in this case had years and years of untreated bipolar disorder according to his own family members and court petitions. Uh, that should have been detected by someone, maybe even the personnel department at his own work. Maybe a family member should have said something about it so that there could have been an intervention. Um, this is, we're, we're covering this stuff up in our society. We're burying it, sweeping it under the rug. And it's, it's time to stop doing that because the consequences uh, are these kind of, of massacres. And, and we're seeing it. That's not an exaggeration. As, as one of the speakers said, only in America do you really have this term, mass shooting. Uh, and it's because of this lethal combination of serious, serious mental health or, or me mental state of mind and, and lethal weapons like guns. So you're right. Uh, we need to address both, but we need to address them together. In the Jewish tradition, we believe that each life is worth a world. Dear ones, we have lost nine worlds. And I don't know about you, but I'm done. I am so done with the lack of sensible gun laws. I am so done. I am so done with how insensitive we are to mental illness. And we have lost another nine people. This goes on and on. And aren't we done? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. As you know that the San Jose mass shooting incident has really led to around eight people getting killed and all of them were very innocent. They were all VTA employees and one of them was none other than Mr. Singh's brother. Karman Singh is joining us and his brother Taptej has suddenly passed away leading to a big grief in the community. I know it's a very sad day and we have all gathered at the city hall just to mourn but it, it can never be enough. Tell us a little more about who all are the people in the family. We, we have a huge family, um, uh, our immediate family, my, my dad, my mom, uh, his wife, his uh, son who is three years old, uh, and my niece who is one year old. Um, but you know, everybody else were, were really close, all of my cousins were, were, like, were like brothers. Uh, that family bond is, is crazy from my cousins, you know, as young as 17, 18, um, till 45, um, we're, we're, we're very close. Um, and, you know, it's, and he was loved and um, loved by everybody. It's really sad and we truly feel the um, the grief and we condole and we hope that um, uh, you know in times to come the family would learn to you know uh, come up on their own you know we can't say much at this point but this is really a sad incident and I think the gun laws need to be amended any words on that the causes um I don't want to focus on the on the cause. Um, these unfortunate events can happen 
uh, you know, this uncertainty, it happened, uh, unfortunately, uh, with someone who, who used guns to hurt others. Um, tragedy, you know, has, can happen in many ways. Um, all I want to say is, you know, this time is just focus on healing. Uh, these families, what they lost, nobody can, nothing can bring them back. Uh, nothing can fill that hole. Uh, nothing can fill that void. And what I would like to say is, you know, hope everybody works together and make sure that uh, as much as we can, that these things don't happen. Uh, whether it's a gun violence, or violence, whether it's a knife, regardless, whatever tool is being used to commit violence, it needs to end. Um, we, we, we need, you know, better things in place. Uh, we need better protection for our, uh, our loved ones. Um, so I hope everybody comes together. Uh, politicians, communities, everybody comes together and um, shows these, um, you know, predators that they can't, they can't succeed in the future. They can't take uh, any soul away from us. So as you know, the Sikh community has gathered because a Sikh brother is also one among the victims and uh, this is not really something that should happen regularly at least. You know, mass shootings have been a trend and we have seen over 16 mass shootings in 2021, not just in California, but in Colorado and Indianapolis. So what's your take on uh, the overall incident? Uh, the incident uh, very bad. Uh, we, uh, I'm feel sad for the other communities who lost their members, and we lost our son too. That's very bad happen in the community, American community, and Sikh community. But we have to stop it because uh, we have to make the gun ban law on it because that's happening every day here and there. The people is hurt too much from this. All families uh, that lost their loved ones here. Uh, at the San Jose Gurdwara, uh, you know, we have seen so many tragedies happen throughout the country. Vigils have been uh, uh, arranged. So, you know, today there were several people from different churches and uh, they have done their prayers and tried to soothe and calm the people. You know, the healing process has started. Yes, there was uh, a priest from uh, San Jose, Pai Satanam Singh, also said a prayer uh, of Ardas. He, he offered the Ardas and uh, <coughs> healing words from the Sikh community, from the Sikh Gurdwara San Jose. Uh, regardless if uh, a Sikh member was lost or not lost, we all stand with all communities together. So, yes. Uh, that, that was really good where all the communities came together, uh, Sikh community, Muslim community, Christians, Jews, they all came and offered prayers and that's what's needed. Uh, we all stand in prayer for those lost souls and uh, that was really needed to heal. So I appreciate the, uh, the mayor for uh, stepping up and having this program today. Thank you, Mr. Beniwal. Those were really words of wisdom and I think the society really needs to make some dynamic changes, some radical changes so that the society becomes a better place and such kind of incidents do not reoccur. Thank you so much for your words and your time uh, and we hope and pray that the entire community heals and we will uh, definitely extend now and forever heartiest condolences and do any kind of help to all the victims of the incident. एक ओंकार वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह श्री पगौती जी सहाय वार श्री पगौती जी की पातशाही दसवीं प्रथम पगौती सिंध के गुरु नानक नहीं पे आए फिर अंगद गुरते अमरदास रामदास सहाय सहाय अर्जुन हर गोविंद नो सिमरौ श्री हर राय श्री हर कृष्ण के आइए जिस रठे सब दुख जाए तेग बहादुर सिमरै कारण आओ नित आवे पाए सब थाई हुए सहाय दसवें पातशाह गुरु गोविंद सिंह साहिब जी महाराज सब थाई हुए सहाय दसा पातशाहियां दी आत्मिक ज्योत कान कान श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी दे पाठ दर्शन दी लार दा ध्यान करके बोलो जी वाहे गुरु हे निमाणिया दे मान नि पाणिया दे तान सच्चे पिता श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज आप जी दे पवित्र चरणा कमला विखे अरदास बेनती है सतगुरु जी 
ਕਲ ਸੰਗ ਹੋ ਜੇ ਵਿਖੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਪਿਆਨ ਪਹਾਦਸ਼ਾਹ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਨੁਵਾਦ ਉਹ ਸਹਾਦ ਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗਰੀਬ ਅਨੁਵਾਦ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਿਰਦੋਸ਼ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਾਨਾਂ ਚਲੀਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੋ ਗਰੀਬ ਅਨੁਵਾਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਆਤਮਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਕਮਲਾਂ ਵਿਖੇ ਥਾਂ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਮਿਹਰਾਂ ਕਰਿਆ ਹੱਥ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਭਾਣਾ ਮੰਨਣ ਦਾ ਬਲ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁੱਖ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਬਣਾਈ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਜੀ ਸਹੀ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮਿਲਣੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਕਿਤਿਆਵੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਣੇ ਸਰਹਤ ਦਾ ਫਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ family members loved ones we need to open that up ladies and gentlemen and bring them in to help before this happens again I want to acknowledge the support and leadership that the labor movement has received from across the country the AFL CIO California Labor Federation leader Art Pulaski And we're joined here today by leaders from Alameda, San Mateo, Contra Costa, and San Francisco Labor Council, because that's how we do it. Yeah.